If last week we were discussing a movie like The Asphalt Jungle, a very unusual production for MGM, today we will talk about a movie released just one year before, in 1949, that also constitutes a very unique MGM production. It certainly has some of the studio's characteristic craftsmanship and even emblematic actresses participating, but it is also definitely a movie that you wouldn't attribute to MGM. I am talking about Act of Violence by Fred Cinnamon, a movie that you may not have heard about, but that I hope that after this video you will definitely consider watching soon, because it will be an absolute surprise. Look, I want to talk to you about an act of violence. My name is Van Heflin, and I'd like you to put yourself in my place. You're an ordinary guy. See, you're doing pretty well. You've got a girl that you love. And then, without warning, out of your past comes a man who used to be your best friend. And when you look in his eyes, you find nothing but hate, menace, and murder. And because of what you did once, there's nothing you can do now. Active Violence is also one of those film noir movies that had a great impact on me when I first watched it, much like The Asphalt Jungle, and it is again remarkable that both movies are from MGM. What is so surprising about Act of Violence? Well, it is not because it has a convoluted plot or because it has a plethora of actors in this case. What's most unusual about this movie is the moral conflict that it approaches. It touches upon the repercussions of World War II and the consequences of some very extreme and traumatic choices that the men who fought on that war had to make and the dark side of what happened to those men who returned and had to ultimately deal once again with the karma of everything they had done in the past. Act of Violence also is essentially a face-off or a duel between two very powerful and incredible actors such as Van Heflin and Robert Ryan, two actors that again I'm very happy to talk about and that I deeply admire. And once again the script, the cinematography and the direction are bomb. As I said before, MGM once again was predominantly known for its musicals and adaptations of literary classics such as Little Women in 1949, precisely the same year that Act of Violence was released and starring also in both movies, which they couldn't be more different, Mary Astor and Janet Lee. Janet Lee was at that time barely starting in movies, whereas Mary Astor was a very experienced actress and in Act of Violence she plays a radically different role than the one she plays in Little Women. She was an actress whose ambiguity, I think, was used a lot when she was younger, but was less and less approached as she grew older. And I think that much like the case of Fred McMurray in Double Indemnity, she should have been in far more film noirs because what she does in this film is truly remarkable. I wanted to point out these actresses because even though the movie, again, the conflict of this movie is mainly the one that involves the two male protagonists, we also have very fantastic actresses in supporting roles but who bring a lot to this movie. Aside again from Mary Astor and Janet Lee, we have Phyllis Thaxter, who is an actress that I'd say today is relatively forgotten, but she was known at the time for appearing later in TV productions such as the Alfred Hitchcock Hour or The Twilight Zone, and it is quite significant because this movie has a certain different vibe, much like those TV productions. For instance, the credits are only shown at the end of the movie and also the way the film is shot 
and constructed and filmed pretty much alludes to a different type of cinema I'd say and a different way to film stories. The movie in any case is concisely told and constructed by Fred Cinnamon. This Austrian born director was then under contract for MGM and was not satisfied with the projects that he was offered. It all changed with active violence and also a movie he did a year before called The Search. He was a man heavily impacted by World War II. Both his parents died in concentration camps so quite obviously the conflict also translated and heavily influenced his work. He would go on to direct movies such as The Search, also The Men, it was the debut of Marlon Brando and Teresa. All these movies dealt with traumatic episodes caused by World War II. His work as a filmmaker would often present a heavy moral conflict and he would often also get brilliant performances from his cast. That was the case of From Here to Eternity, High Noon or The Nun's Story. Act of Violence starts with the menacing, always menacing presence of Robert Ryan arriving from Los Angeles to Santa Lisa in California. His limping appearance with the characteristic trench coat couldn't be more disturbing. If you have seen Cape Fear, this movie has that same vibe, initial vibe of the cat and mouse, some supposedly deranged man going after another. In this case, Robert Ryan is after Van Heflin's character who leads yet again another seemingly perfect and quiet life with his wife, Janet Lee, and a baby boy. As the film progresses though, the conflict turns out to be even more upsetting than what we had initially anticipated the movie would be. There's a brilliant twist in all this that obviously I won't reveal and that is key to understand why this movie is so unusual and why this was a surprise when I watched it. As always, we have to mention cinematography and the director of photography for Act of Violence was Robert Surtees a name that hadn't been brought up yet, but another fantastic director of photography. This movie, unlike the previous we have seen, has a lot of scenes shot on location, specifically in Los Angeles, in very emblematic places from that city. So it is again another case of a very expert cinematographer taking care and making this movie leap off the screen. But I should say its biggest strength is the script, super well structured by Robert L. Richards, whose career ended abruptly because of blacklisting, who adapted the story from Collier Young, who was also the creator of the famous TV series called Ironside, who was at that time married to Ida Lupino and who was a producer and writer also of other film noir gems like The Hitchhiker, precisely directed by Ida Lupino, a movie that I will certainly talk about in this movie challenge. So again, pretty interesting people that took part in making act to violence again the links and the start of a new way of shooting and telling stories and although the movie was certainly not a box office success it was quite the opposite in fact probably because it was an mgm production and also i'd say because of the conflict it deals with but i think that in any case this is a very interesting film at least it was for me with plot twists, with incredible performances, with a very good solid script, with fantastic views of Los Angeles, and also that gritty look and feel that many film noirs had. And this is certainly a movie that I truly, truly recommend that I hope that you discover if you haven't already. So that's all I have for today's video once again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for joining me for this film noir movie challenge. Thank you so much for sharing the love for classic movies. Take care, stay safe, and see you all tomorrow for another video. Bye.